above all principalities and powers, every name that is named, not only in this world, so that covers this world, but in the world to come. In Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, you know it's coming. You got power in New Jerusalem, they ain't been there yet. That's deep. That's deep. All right. What was that? Verse 9. And when Jesus heard this, he marveled. He said, what you say, man? <laughs> Jesus said, huh? For real? Watch this. Marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great a faith, no, not in Israel. So all the people in Israel, all the saved people supposed to be loving God, That's couldn't right. even believe like this one centurion man, because he understood the principle of authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was, that was. Thank you. So now if you understand your position, you're not just a mere mortal, you're a superman yeah. and superwoman. Yeah. Because you're seated in heavenly places, far above. All principalities and power, might, and dominion, every name that is name. So everything else is trespassing. If it's not to your good, because we know all good and perfect gifts come from above. Sickness ain't good. Poverty ain't good. Bondage is not good. Depression is not good. So it don't come from above. So it comes from below. So if it comes below, it's under your feet. Keep it there. With your mouth. I don't care if you have to talk it all day long. As long as you're talking, the quicker it'll come. You speak from darkness over into the light. You speak from death over into life. And that's what you'll get. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yes. The Bible said a man's belly is filled from the fruit of his lips. Yes. That's it. Praise God. Yes. Confess it. The Bible said confession is made unto soteria. Confession is made unto salvation. That means more than just standing up here when I pray the sinner prayer. That means in every area of your life, God saved you from all this negativity. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, there is an anointing. That's why I keep teaching people the kingdom is coming. There is an anointing available for whatever the enemy try to do to you. But if you don't get the mechanism started, you're going to be wilding in it forever. And so instead of confessing the problem, confess the answer. Because when you speak on the problem, you make it bigger. Jesus says, speak to the mountain. And the whole mountain. Right. Have you seen a big old mountain? Huh? You stand in the middle of the mountain, you can barely see the top and can't see neither one of the sides. That's right. That's right. So we know that some big spots come up in your life and some hard places come up in your life, but the word of God said, speak to it. Yes, Lord. And it shall get up and go away from you and be cast into the sea. Now if you want to climb up the rough side of the mountain, help yourself. That's you. That's right. <laughs> now I know it sounds good. Oh, I'm coming up. Well, you go ahead and walk, okay? I'm going through. <laughs> On oh, the rough side. Oh, that make you think you're really humble before God. <laughs> You shout over the mountain. I'm gonna hold you oh, to the end. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you keep on holding it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going through where the mountain used to be. <laughs> Why well, I got to climb, but I can make the mountain move. Yeah. So whatever you face, if you talk to it enough, it will go away. I want to share one more thing with you. Look, let's look at Joshua 1 8. I know I teach this all the time. But as I begin to study this and really look up what that word really meant in Hebrew, I discovered something. Watch this. Watch this, my God. Watch this. Joshua 1 and 8. I'm going to wait till you get there. Mm -hmm. 
So really, even we really have to even watch what songs we sing. Right. It's much tighter than we think it is. It is. It really is. Why you got to climb up and just and start going through? My brother just going through. Sure, the doctor said you may have this. Well, so what? That, that ain't what the words say. I understand you're a scientist person, and in the uh, the facts say that's true, but the truth says I'm healed. Heaven says I'm healed, and heaven is what counts. And if you speak to it enough, it will come to pass. Joshua 1 and 8. I don't hear my pages, so that, that must mean we left. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Hold it right there. That word meditate is a word of Hebrew word, hogao, H-A-W-G-A-W. Watch this. That word means to murmur, to mutter, to roar, to speak, to talk, to utter. Then it means to, to ponder and imagine. So I have taught you that, but to a certain degree, I haven't taught you to give you the whole picture. So if it means to murmur, that's a small speech, mutter, roar, roar it out, speak it out, talk it out, or utter. So you're at work, and you're on your job there, and your stuff going out of line, and you should say, God, I thank you that I'm healed. Your word says that I'm healed by his stripes, and I just believe you, God, and I'm just going to walk in that healing. My God, here. Yeah. Your word says that whatsoever I desire when I pray it, I just believe I receive it and I shall have it. And I, I just thank you, God, for my car. And I thank you that my husband is delivered and my wife is free and my children are born again. I just thank you, Father. And I don't go by what it looks like. I go by what your word says. And your word declares that we are free and the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Your word says I'm above only not beneath. So I'm just thanking you, God, that in a couple of years' time, I'm going to have my own business. I'm not going to be here with these sinners here and being subjected to all this cursing and all this. I'm a better person than this. I'm your child of God. And hallelujah. I'm above only not beneath. I will live to many nations that my power, but the riches are my crown and my wealth. When they pass by my house, they'll know I am the son of God. Not only that, God, but they'll find out that I am a delightsome lamb. Glory my sheep Glory to God. And all the people will fear me because I live for God. And not only that, God, your word says a blessing shall overtake me. And I can feel them on my trail. Not only that, God, but I discovered that goodness and mercy is on my trail. And because of it, God, I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed coming out. And not only that, God, but everything I put my hand to shall prosper. When I go, it's going to prosper. When I come, it's going to prosper. I can speak to the mountain and it shall be removed. All of the goodness of God is over me. And the people will call you crazy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, That's right. And they'll begin to say, well, just look over her, child, because she's been talking to herself. <laughs> just look over him, because you know he's a little different. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, that's fine, because the Bible says you are a peculiar people. I'm a little crazy. So I wanted you to see the full loaf of that word meditate. Now, what I want you to catch is, first thing he said, this book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth. That's the first thing he said. Then he said you should meditate on it. Or you should mutter it. Or you should utter it. Or you should speak it. Or you should talk it. Or you should declare it. Then, what did it say? Then you should do it not only that, but you should do it day and night. The, oh, did I tell you I was a millionaire? <laughs> Praise God. You should do it day and night. Then thou